Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Rosina Sharon and today, today I wanted to do a date night makeup tutorial because <laughs> I am going on a date. But anyways, before you do that, kindly subscribe, share your thoughts in the comment section down below. I'll be reading all of them. And if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. With no further ado, let us go straight into the video okay guys so we're going to start off with the eyebrows as always you're going to use a spoolie to brush through our eyebrows first before we start lining and brush them up okay and to line we're using the davis number three eye pencil we're going to follow the exact shape of our eyebrows when it comes to lining the upper side of the brows we are going to leave a bit of space around the inner corner so it looks more natural And then after that, we're going to use my new favorite product, which is the Maybelline um, Brow Gel Mascara. It is a very amazing product, in my opinion. So we're going to use that to brush through our eyebrows. And that is what um, we're going to use to fill in, literally. It's going to leave a more natural-looking eyebrow than just filling in using the eye pencil. And then around the inner corner, because we do not have much of hair around this area we're going to draw hair like structures make sure your eye pencil is very very sharp at the point when you're doing this the next to clean out we're going to use illegal pro concealer in the shade fawn this is a concealer two shades lighter than my skin tone so when you're cleaning out your eyebrows use a concealer that is a two shades lighter than your skin tone and use a very angled brush for this Next, we're going to set our eyelids and how you hold your brush is very important especially when handling fluffy brushes do not hold too close to the bristles because it's not going to give it space to move freely and when you're handling a fluffy brush it should move freely so you have a very smooth blend so hold it not too close to the bristles give it a bit of space when you're holding your brush so after setting with a concealer we're going to set the concealer with a setting powder because today we're not going to do eyeshadow and then after that has set we're just going to use this uh, glitter liner this one is from l'oreal and we're going to place that around the crease region just in the middle part only we are going to tap it in around the middle part only so it, it it we don't overpower the whole eye look we want it to be very very subtle so just in the middle alone and then after that we're going to use a liner as close to a natural lash line as possible we're just going to draw one very tiny line we're not doing a wing eye today because we want a very subtle look and then after that you can apply mascara and then I do falsies if you want to. This is a very unnecessary step. I'm doing it because uh, naturally my lashes are not very visible. And that is it for the eye makeup. So moving on to the face, we're going to start off with the ordinary hyaluronic acid and we're going to apply that on our bare face. Okay, you shouldn't apply a moisturizer before the serum. Serum should always come before the moisturizer and then allow it to set first before we apply our moisturizer. And today we're going to use the CeraVe moisturizing cream. We're going to mix that with the CeraVe hydrating sunscreen. And for brown skins like us, anybody of a darker complexion, you should use a sunscreen that is 30 SPF and above from 30 going up not anything below 30. So we're going to um, massage that onto our skin and then allow it to set first before we apply primer. And one thing I noticed about uh, the sunscreen is it has a very white undertone, so it's going to leave your face looking whitish. Just uh, giving you a heads up. So next um, to prime, we're using the Rimmel Stay Matte Primer. And for primer, tap it in so it is absorbed into the skin. Make sure you tap it in until it is all absorbed in the skin. And again, allow the primer to set first before you apply foundation. For foundation today, we're going to use the Maybelline um, Superstay Foundation number 256. It's called a warm coconut. I'm just giving you a side-to-side -side comparison between warm coconut and cappuccino. So if you are a shade lighter than my skin tone, you can go for the cappuccino. So to blend that in, we're using a beauty blender. Make sure it is damp. Squeeze out the excess water first before you start applying. And then for the technique, you tap it in. 
tap that foundation in until it all blends in and avoid using fresh products around your under eye immediately on your under eye and uh, the region around your nose because uh, it is going there's a very big possibility if you do that it is going to quiz okay so the product remaining on the beauty blender is what you use around those two regions okay after you have blended in the whole stuff the product remaining is what you use around the nose and under eye so on the forehead start off just above your eyebrows going up so you avoid using too much product around the hairline and again use very little product so to highlight we're going to use the maybelline fit me concealer i this is my second time using this and i love this product this is like my new favorite concealer when it comes to highlighting the face and again use very little product you can place that on your around the inner corner and the outer corner of your under eyes only use very little product when it comes to concealing if you want a very smooth blend with no creasing whatsoever use very little product and then another technique is blend as you go because uh, especially for this particular concealer it dries out very quickly so when you apply that on your under eye blend it in immediately first before you apply on the bridge of your nose and then again blend it in before you move on to applying the products on your forehead and then blend it in so blend as you go blend as you go So one mistake I noticed uh, beginners uh, do most of the time is when they're blending in the concealer on the forehead, after they blend it in, they don't spread it out evenly. So it leaves a white kind of uh, crust on top of the uh, forehead. So to avoid that, after you blend it in, spread it out so it blends into the foundation blend. So you have a very smooth uh, transition. So next we're going to set using the such a buttercup setting powder the technique is you dump the beauty blender onto the setting powder and then you blow off the excess powder first before you start blending in and we're going to use this on the areas where we highlighted it using the concealer and for this you press it in press the beauty blender in and blend it in until you see no residues whatsoever if you blow off the excess powder you're not going to see any residue so that is the trick and we're going to use that again on the areas where we highlighted using the concealer. So after that, we're moving on to powder contour and we're going to use the Zikela Cosmetic 16 color blush contour and highlight palette. And we are going to use the shade number 14 to contour. So we're going to start by contouring the cheek bone area and please blend it in circular motions facing up do not drag the uh, contour shade down and then please remember to contour your forehead as well it is very important and then yeah and then after that when it comes to blending the nose region use a smaller brush so if you want your nose to appear longer start off just below the eyebrows going down and if you already have a long nose start from uh, the inner corner of your eye going down and then as uh, you draw the first line make sure you drag it down so it's easier for you to blend when you start blending in uh, that contour line when it comes to blending in the contour line make sure you use a uh, more fluffy and a clean brush so you avoid having harsh contour lines along your nose region next we're going to apply the creamy eyeliner this is the no budge no budge proof eyeliner from elf this is a creamy eyeliner and please make sure you place that on your waterline alone if you want a more flattering look place it on the waterline alone do not drag it to your under eye just on the waterline alone and it is going to look very very beautiful and then after that we're going to apply blush and we're going to apply that on top of our contour okay just on top and then we're going to blend it in with the contour so we don't have a very funny transition we have a very smooth transition so after that we are going to set using the milani make it a dewy setting spray 
and then after we are done with setting we are going to highlight and i'm using the fenty beauty highlighter in hustler baby So when it comes to highlighting the tip of your nose after placing in the highlighter make sure you go over it with your finger at least to blend it in so it does not appear very harsh and then next we're moving on to the lips we're going to start off by lip lining using the davis number no. three lip liner And then when you're done lip lining, make sure you less smudge it in or rather blend it in so it does not give you just one line going through the whole lip. So it blends in fast before you apply the lipstick we're going for. And the lipstick you're going for today is uh, the Milani in Amore. This is like my favorite shade of red. And when applying that, we're going to start off um, around the middle part of the lip and then we are going to go over the lip liner with the lipstick we don't want a very dark to very bright transition we want a very smooth transition so go over the lipstick go over the lip liner with the lipstick sorry <laughs> yeah And uh, that would be it from me today, guys. Let me know what you think about this whole look. I wanted to do a very subtle look for this date. It, this is a more of a, an everyday kind of look. Uh, no color on the eyeshadow. We are just glowing and looking beautiful and a very smooth blend all through the, you know, face. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have learned something from this tutorial. I'll be seeing you in the next video. Bye.